speaking of which, you've always you've made comments before about how you hate get, uh, people that get paid on the weekend. Like, why do you hate getting paid on the weekend versus I'm, getting paid like, I'm, during I'm, the I've never gotten paid on a Friday before. I've never had a job like that. Uh, when I was at Taco Bell, I believe I got paid on Thursdays. And then when I worked at QT, I got paid on Wednesday. Most people uh, that work 9 to 5, they don't do anything during the week. So if you get paid on Wednesday, you're not going to spend money on Wednesday, on Thursday, Either. So that's two days that you don't have to worry about spending money. That's true. People that get paid on Friday, they blow their whole check that day and hey. the next day because they go hey. out on the weekend. How I blow my check is my personal business. <laughs> hey, man, I'm trying to help you blow your check at a later date. <laughs> get you a Wednesday payday. I know. That's why I blow it on Saturday on Smash Tournaments. Dang. And then when Taco Tuesday comes around, you ain't got no money. You never invite me to Taco Tuesday anyway. Wow. Everybody's invited to Taco Tuesday. Taco Sus. Tuesday is every day. That's a sus, bro. <laughs> All right, so here we are. And with that sound, we're underway to the money team and burnt toast. Game on Smash. Oh, wow. I couldn't honestly tell if this was actually like start to the set because City was just sitting up there taunting. But it looks like, yeah, we're underway. It was the taunt of confidence. Uh, so right Amy Moon, being a, uh, he, he's a double icon. True. I appreciate uh, Sabre's passion for their uh, double or just this game in general. And I encourage most players to look at it and be like, that too. But, now, but right now, he's got to take a look at the fact that that stock he just had going absolutely demolished. Hill Team getting off to a rough start now as Ness is the only character who still has all three stocks. Oh, the Red Team looking, the red team looking man. Pretty comfortable. All right. Well, a smart thing by Ray. He got the grab. Saw City standing right there. He's like, man, I'm sitting at 76%. Ike is a strong boy. Wrong move, and I'm going to be off the stage. I know. Yeah, right about that. And he's doing a great job just hacking the damage on yeah. the ETO. He's got a teammate. He also needs to be taken care of. That yeah. boy is grooving. Look at Happy V. Oh. Like this man is all over the place. Oh, wow, and those up, and the up here coming out from the high ground and taking out. Did he? Wow, just throws his own teammate off on accident. Oh, we have the charge. Get back. The up tilt could have taken out. And now the yellow team is now in the stock lead, but for how long? That's the real question. Oh, man. All right. We're tight on stock, but uh, did he? He's not looking too healthy. He's sitting at that 88. One grab from Ness. That's a dead monkey. I wouldn't say he's dead right now, but PK Fire does not spell great news for him. Call us money team for nothing. True. Oh, 
All right, so uh, we got Burnt Toast uh, trying to figure out what they need to do to keep that strong momentum going that they had going on those first couple of stocks. I'm curious to see what's going to happen because, like I said before, the Nest does a great job of stock tanking and playing defense. The Greninja, however, it just ends up in these bad situations where he needs help, but the Nest is never Fox. available to help him. Greninja. And as a result, he just like can't he call. That's a lot of percent. Or that's a lost stock. Very, very true. Ness is he's a very like floaty character and isn't the quickest, so it's hard for him to get over and help in those situations where. Uh, and that's why I, I understand it. So it looks like uh, he's actually switching off the Fox. He switched the Fox. Go. Okay, so uh, we talked about a character that you can't get. You know, Fox is gonna get up in there and help you need some help, man. True. I asked, I asked him for a character that can help him, man. Yeah. I got what I wanted. Game two taking place once again on Pokemon Stadium. The L team starting off much stronger than the in this game. Already putting the hurt, the hurt, and then some on top of the red team. Ooh, ah, okay. There's a back throw. Now, we're going to see anything gonna... called up by his entire game. I'm going to wonder if this Fox counter pick is going to work in their favor or if it's actually going to hurt him going by. It's going to be a tough call on him. Oh my god, that was amazing. Wow, that was a tough forward smash. Good of that oh, good night, Irene. That was painful to watch. Woo, the back here. But Not yet killing Fox. And it makes it back to the fire Fox. And realizing that Fox is in trouble, trying to come up with that, just guarantee that one safety for Okay, back here. Is there ice off the stage? They'll try to give him. But Sandra makes it back. Oh, tried to get he the counter. He tried to call out the counter. Really. Point draw held out just a little longer than that up there. Got there, up to another up to. Oh my oh gosh, gosh, what? This. Fo I gotta, hey, Fox, I got a max here if you're, if you're that thirsty, bro. <laughs> hey, just tell, just hit me up, I got you. That was incredibly crazy. But I appreciate that. Okay, nice, nice yeah, fair yeah, cover his teammate. Trying to edge guard, losing track of his other opponent. Fox is, the Greninja is pulling everything the Fox should have been doing game one. Yeah. Ooh, oh, I like that double carry. Oh, the double up smash confirmed. Get that two for one deal. Now that he's got a bad start for the red team, they're definitely in a much better position as of this oh, yeah. Definitely looking very even right now. Ooh, the, the one there from Ike is going to have Fox in a bad position. Ooh. And there's the up smash taking it out, and now Ike sitting on his last stock. And there's the up smash up, up there. Up there to confirm, just to say, hey, remember that stock you shipped for me? Mind if I take one back? True. We need to trade, actually. Oh. All right, sitting at three stocks apiece. However, there's about... Giddy sitting on Jeff's door, about 126. Hopefully he can make something happen. Lawrence lost curtains. Well, whoever loses their second stock first, the Giddy or the Ninja, is really going to set the pace for the rest of his game. Honestly, the red, how, how much percent of uh, the red's taken right now? It's looking like they need to make stocks. They need to make stocks happen like yesterday. Just like that, that Greninja is hanging out. Giddy spare. Oh no, there's up tilt from Fox. Oh, the dash tag, but that's not going to kill him. Almost kill him. Maybe. Look at the, and now Ooh. the massive amount of percents they have, they need to make the damage they're applying come count just like they're doing right now. It's all spot there. Back here. And there's the up smash. That's going to take it. And Greninja is gone for the fight. Now can Fox live long enough? Now let's see how long Fox can hold on to that stock. He's yeah. for that and just He's gonna die with Fox being a bottom five character when it comes to weight. He just had no hope at being hit by that air. Oh, the back, the back throw putting him on stage. So the damage is, the damage makes this two incredibly Ooh. doable. But that 50 damage is just not looking too good for him. Oh, a wrong, wrong, good call, wrong direction though. Now, if he has a read for a, uh, like a jump, for any type of smash attack or a move that will get him punished, he, he, ha he has room for error to get hit with one strong move. Ooh. And that might be his one strong move right now. If that, if that up, if he sees the eye up there, yeah, up and there that's going to take it. Money team successfully taking the win, 2-0 over Mertos. Money team, uh, $7 in the pockets. 
Moving along to winner semi. Uh, one stuff. more win. Oh, it's a good stuff to both these guys. Money team.